right, students. Okay, so, and parents, so today I thought it'd be nice if you guys had like on your wall somewhere to look and be like, this is our schedule. This is what we're supposed to be doing right now. And that kind of helps your students stay on track, helps you kind of enforce the schedule and it makes them feel like they know what's going on and they feel accomplished because that's like, oh, well you made your schedule. So I kind of made myself a little cheat sheet so I could do it with you guys here, but you can just like use the schedule off your phone. And I realized it cut off just the very end of your schedule, which is nap time. And I know nobody wants to forget that. So I wrote like a little cheat sheet on the schedule right here. And what I want you guys to do is draw a circle. And you can have your student draw that circle if you want, or you can do it either way. And then, hold on, wait a second. And then I want you to put a dot in the middle of your circle, right? And I want you to put all the numbers, just like a clock. So go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back after I do mine. You guys are doing such a good job. Good job. Hey, guys. So usually um, I, you guys do the me today and the reading on your own, but I was thinking I would try to do it with you guys today, and you guys just let me know if you like it this way or if you'd rather do me today and reading on your own or if you want to do, like, just me today with me and do the reading on your own. Just, like, let me know what works for you guys and and what doesn't work and and yay. I, so I'm gonna start with me today in a new. So me today is about just letting the students kind of explore their feelings. Uh, nothing has to be perfect with this. It doesn't even really have to look like a face or anything. I thought it would be fun if today, since our shape was the circle, if we took some kind of circle object, I was gonna just use this bottle, but I'm gonna use this because it's a little bigger for you guys to see. And I'm going to trace around the circle. And then boom, beautiful, perfect circle under there. Looks so great. And today, just let your student draw how they're feeling on the paper. So Miss Sarah is feeling good. So look, I have one, two eyes. Look at that. I have a nose. Look at that nose. Oh, Miss Sarah nose there. Oh, yes. And then let's put my mouth oh a nice mouth and remember guys the more details you add the more like you it looks oh look i put some eyebrows some eyelashes wow oh i'm gonna put a neck on there what and maybe some hair oh wait what my hair's different today so i'm gonna put it I got a big old bun on top of my head today so that's me today Oh, you know, that face doesn't look quite as happy as I am. Let's make it really happy. Yeah. And then I'll give you guys a minute to do that, and I'll read you guys a little book. But remember, Marco Polo's at your own time, so you can click in on it whenever you're ready. Backyard Bugs by Jill McDonald. Who lives in your backyard? Um. What's in that backyard? A cat. A kitty and some tomatoes and a swing. Oh, we love the swing. I'm back, Joe. Let's go explore. Oh, bicycle. And a house. And a house. And a, a chimney for the fireplace. Yeah. Wow, <gasps> look up in the sky. Do you see a bee buzzing by? Um. Oh, there it is, buzz. Ah. A bee's house is called a hive. A hive is where bees make honey. Mmm, we like honey, yummy, sweet honey. Dragonflies swoosh back and forth. Over the flowers. A dragonfly's four wings allow it to turn quickly in the air. Zoom, 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 zoom. Whoa. Dragonflies. Ooh, a spider is spinning a 
Dicky Web. Ooh, can you count eight lakes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spiders make silk to spin their webs. Ooh. Watch out, a grasshopper takes a giant leap. Where is it going? Um. Grasshopper. A grasshopper has strong back legs, which let it jump far. Brum, 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 brum. <laughs> strong grasshopper legs. Chomp, chomp, says the ladybug. A bright red ladybug munches on a leaf. Point to each of its spots. Okay. Oh, there, my light is making an extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six spots. A ladybug can eat up to 5,000 bugs in its lifetime? What? Pew, pew, pew. <gasps> Look at that. Look down at your feet. Tiny ants march in a straight line. Ants are small, but they're strong. They can carry items that are much heavier than they are. Ugh. Ugh. Look, eating all that picnic delicious food. They're taking it. Oh, they took my blueberries. What? They took the oranges and the pretzels. What? And the watermelon. What? They're going to eat it all up. And up from the dirt, the garden worm wiggles. Can you wiggle like a worm? Wiggle. Can you wiggle like a worm? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your tail like a worm. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Very tiny hairs cover the worm's body and help it burrow in the dirt. What? Did you know worms had hair? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Trace your finger along the tree. Oh, here we go. Here we go. One, that's the caterpillar. Two, it goes into its cocoon. Three, it turns into a beautiful, walking along the branches, a busy caterpillar. <laughs> Is it going to be a butterfly? Let's see. Turn it, turn it, turn it. <gasps> beautiful. It'll be a beautiful butterfly. <gasps> Butterflies eat nectar from pollen and flowers. Oh, no. Wow, with their little, their little butterfly tongue. What bugs can you find in your backyard? Wow, there's a lot of bugs in this person's backyard. They have spiders and dragonflies and bees and ladybugs and grasshoppers and caterpillars and butterflies. Wow. And ants. And ants. Oh, but see, they have a garden. Maybe because they have a garden, they have so many bugs there. Oh, and they have flowers. Bugs like flowers and gardens, huh? Oh, spiders right there. Oh, and spiders. They love to eat bugs, huh? Oh, and, and ladybugs. Oh, I just ate And the end. All right, guys, we're going to do our outside time. Today, we are going to make a human sundial. So you can take chalk, or you can, like, use a stick and do it in the dirt, or however you want to do it. We're going to use chalk. So first, I want you to draw a big circle. Now you can give your student a piece of chalk, and you can have them hold the chalk on the ground, and then spin in a circle holding the chalk until they reach the other end of their circle. And then they'll have a big circle shape just like them. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about where the sun is. Okay, so the sun is up there in the sky and we're gonna find our shadow. Oh, there's my shadow, there's Miss Sarah's shadow. So I am gonna, so you would help your student with this part and outline their little bodies. So we're gonna put Maddox in this circle. There you go, can you stand there straight? Okay, stay right there and I'm gonna draw your shadow, Maddox. 
and your little shadow hand and your shadow arm. Oh, and look at all your sweet shadow hair. Don't move. And your shadow arms, your shadow legs, both your shadow legs. <laughs> okay, and I think that's our shadow Maddox right there. Yep, scoot over Maddox so they can see it. Yep. And there's our shadow Maddox, and we're going to have him color it in. Can you make your eyes Maddox? And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do his whole outfit. We're going to just have spend a lot of time doing this today. Hey, do hold. And it's nice to do, you know, do this project. Let, and then after you do that, let him run around, have a good old time. And then in 30 minutes, we're going to come back and we're going to do it again. So I don't usually meet up with you guys several times during outside time, but today we're going to so we can do part two of our project. And we're just going to talk about the time and how the sun moves across the sky and how that changes the time of day. And we'll talk about the weather like right now. It's really nice outside, nice and sunny. We're having a good time this morning. Okay, have fun, guys. We just found a lizard in our yard climbing through the chicken coop. I don't know if you guys saw it just now. It ran off. I caught it for a second, but that's what this time is great for. It's great for exploring and finding cool bugs, like in our bug book we found today. And really enjoying our outside time. I let Maddox get pretty dirty during outside time, but that's all up to you guys how you want to do it, how it fits into your day. Right now, Maddox is actually posing for me so that I can make his face. Can I do your nose, Maddox? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can do your nose. <laughs> they might also not want to just sit down and do that. They might want to run and jump and throw the chalk around. All of that's okay. We're having some outside time. We're having some fun. We can come back to the drawing. We got it set in time. And then that kind of keeps them interested in doing other stuff. We want to have fun. That's the biggest thing. We want to have so much fun, right? Are you having so much fun? Yeah. You throw in your chalk all around? Oh, I hear it. Oh, when you throw the chalk, it sounds like a birdie? Yeah. Wow. So there, he's just making awesome connections, and that's just part of play that you're, they're going to make these awesome connections. Okay, guys, it's been 30 minutes. So I'm gonna have Maddox come stand over here. Maddox, come on, stand here for me. In a minute. In a minute. Okay, let's put the water hose down. And can I have you stand in the center of the circle again? Let's see if your shadow's done any moving. Stand right here, please. Right here. Right where you stood the first time. Wait, back it up, back it up, back it up. We should have X marks the spot where the, no, nope, stay right there so I can trace your shadow. Here we go, stay right there. Your mama's gonna trace your shadow. Nope. Okay, well I'm losing him, so we're gonna stand right here. Oh, are you gonna stand right there for me now? Yeah. You should have X marks the spot where they started, but you can kind of line them up on where their little heels were. Come here, right here, right here, right here. Okay, stand there. I gotta trace your shadow. Okay, my helper is a zombie right now, so I am gonna do it myself. No! Oh, you're gonna help me or what? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this guy real quick. Oh. <laughs> okay, he's messing with me. Okay, so the motorcycle is going to be Maddox. No. Stand right here, please. There we go. <laughs> so see, this is kind of how it goes for everybody, parents. It's not, it's not just one day, it's every day. They always, they have their own personalities too. So that's good. We're learning boundaries and what's okay and what's not okay. How about me, fish? Okay, so I got most of Maddox why he stood there just now. There we go. Oh, look, Maddox, 
Your shadow moved. <gasps> what? Come draw your eyes over here now. Now you move. Now it looks like your shadow has a shadow friend. So has the sun moved across the sky? So is the day moving by? <laughs> yeah, look. And there's there you are. And there's your shadow. Huh. Wow, it's moved so much. Yeah, let's draw him. Let's draw that shadow guy. <laughs>